So let's just say I'm going to do a screenshot like this. And then you see this little corner, there's a your screenshot. Now you just need to go into one of your chat, drop, and then that's it. Now you just basically send a screenshot on your chat without anything else, without saving it. So today I'm going to show you 10 more different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Super simple and easy and only Samsung device, okay? Only Android device. Even Apple can do so, cannot do something like this. So let's get started. So if you hold this button here, you can actually do a multi-window. So now let's just say I'm going to go on Google. Okay, you can see that, right? Now I'm going to search an image. And I'm going to search like this. Now, did you see? I can just go like this, drop, and send. Did you just see that? So any image that I see, I can just go and drop to my WhatsApp, and then that's it. Pretty simple. So this is another tricks that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So some people may know how to do this, but if you look at the keyboard, you can see there's so many colors within the keyboard, right? How do I do this? It's actually quite easy. You just need to go into good lock. Okay, this is the good lock. And then you go into Key Cafe. So Key Cafe is basically an app that you can customize your keyboards or different keys or even, let's say I'm Chinese, I can customize different wording inside the keyboards. So you can actually go to style your own keyboard. And now when you go to style your own keyboard, at the bottom here, you see color, effects, and sound. So let's just say if you want color, it's just the color. But if you want the effects, you go to the effects. And now you have a lot of different options for you to customize your keys. And when you type, it will end up like that. And in addition, you can customize your sound as well too. You can customize whatever you want, okay? And that's how you customize your keyboard, okay? And whatever you want, pretty cool. And that's number three. So let's talk about freedom. You can see there are so many notifications right here. What if, what if I do not want certain app have notification on the top or maybe on the lock screen, on the front screen right here? How do we control that? It's actually quite easy. All you have to do is, let's just say you're going into the app. Okay, we're going to go to the setting and go into the app and select default apps. And now you can see there are so many different apps. Let's just say there is something that I really, really do not want to show up, maybe like CapCut, okay? So we're gonna go in here, and you can see the configuration is blocked by myself because I control this. But if I actually allow this, there is actually a few sessions right here. You can actually untick whatever you don't want, okay? Let's just say if you do not want the lock screen show up, okay, block that. Uh, maybe block this so you, on the top you don't see anything. Or if you do not want any of those, just uncheck. Now it's, everything is blocked. You don't see anything anymore. So did you know on a Samsung Galaxy phone, if you go into your alarm, now there is a way. So different volume for different alarm. So if you go into the three dot right there, okay, and then you go to the setting, you can see now you can actually set a different sound for different volume for different alarm. You can see that. So if you want that, make sure you check that. And now every single alarm that you set up, you can actually adjust the sound, adjust the background, adjust anything you want and just like that. So you can see, let's just say I got an alarm, you can see the sounds right here each of them. So it doesn't matter like if you turn this off or something, but eventually you can still control your volume by just touching that. So each alarm have different sound. Pretty cool. So this phone right here right now, there is no SIM card. So just a phone connect to the Wi-Fi and that's it. 
Now I'm going to show you the best thing about the big speed. I know a lot of people do not use the big speed button that often, but I'm going to show you why. Because when I use the big speed button is when I actually go into the settings. And you can, you already know with setting, there's a lot of information, a lot of options you can open and turn on and stuff like that. Now I'm going to show you that like you can actually access anything you want by just using big speed. So let's just say I'm on a home screen. I can tell, turn on volume by 50%. Okay. Turn off my volume by 70%. All right, so they can do anything you want. Turn on mobile hotspot. Okay, mobile hotspot is on. Turn off my mobile hotspot. Okay, so it's off. Now, the one of the cool thing about Big Speed button is, is actually if you are offline, you can still use the Big Speed. So I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi right now. Let's see what they can do. Turn off my Wi-Fi. Okay. Yes, they can. They can help me a lot. So let's just say the Wi-Fi is gone. You can see that, right? The Wi-Fi is gone. Now I'm gonna talk to Big Speed button. Turn on my volume by 80%. Lower down my volume by 20%. Cool. Turn off my Bluetooth. Turn on my Wi-Fi. Okay, so they were able to turn on my Wi-Fi just like that without any issue. So how do I do this? It's actually quite simple. We're gonna to go to the setting. We're gonna to go to big speed and please guys use your big speed. They are very, very cool. Just go to the info, big speed setting and then at the bottom here, you can see offline processing. And they, are, they did a really, really good job, I can tell you. Turn this on. And secondly is, you want to go down here, side button setting. And then long press, that's what I like, right? Always long press. Long press, and then go to big speed. Google, I just say, okay, whatever. But big speed, I would like to hold this and use it. Pretty cool. What if someone stole your phone and you didn't even do anything to like, okay, let's auto reset if they try to lock, uh, lock in your phone. You know what, today I will let you know how to do this and please set it up for yourself because if someone stole your phone and you don't do that, then they will basically will reset your phone, use the hard, uh, hard factor reset and then that's it, you're done. So make sure that you do this one option. So going into the setting, lock screen, secure lock setting, okay, secure lock setting, and then type in your password, continue, and then right here, auto factory reset. If they unlock your phone 20 incorrect attempts, then they will basically factory reset for you and in the lockdown mode or basically everything you raise. So make sure you do that because it's so important if your phone gets stolen. And then the next feature is right here, the lockdown mode options. Usually by default, it's actually turned off. Be sure to turn that back on. So if you actually go to your power off, you can see there is like this thing called lockdown mode. So basically all your fingerprints or your face ID will be gone. You have to retype in your password, okay? So that's it. So if you have a lockdown mode, let's just say I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna leave my phone here, then you basically can come back, okay? Basically you can come back and just type in your password and that's it, pretty simple. So the next features I would like to show you is, is actually your 8K video. So on the iPhone 17, it will come out 8K video. And you know what, now on, from now on, a lot of people should use the 8K video. And there's only one reason why. Not because to use 8K video to record videos, okay? It's not the purpose. A lot of people misunderstand. You want to use the 8K video to capture the picture 
inside the video. So what I'm trying to say is if your kid, your dog, your puppy is running so fast and you want to capture them but they're running way too fast, you can use your 8K video. So let's just say we're going to go to a video and then top right there, go to 8K and start recording your kid. Okay, let's just say they're running, okay, whatever, running, 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 right? And then you like, okay, stop now. Now, if you actually go into your gallery, and let's just say, this is my image right there, okay? I finally captured my kid. And then you press this button right there. This picture right here, I can tell you, is actually pretty good quality, 4.57 megabyte. But you might say like, hey Calvin, why should I use 8K? Why can't I just use 4K and do it? So if I use 4K to do it, let's just say I'm doing the same method, okay? Using the 4K, record, 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 and then I say stop. Now if I go back to the gallery, this is a 4K, and then I say, okay, stop. I want this. Now I could press capture, okay? And now you can see this image right there. This image is only 1.52 megabyte. So it's actually a much lower quality if you're using 4K than 8K. And usually right away you want to delete your 8K video because just a few seconds is already occupied 51 megabyte. All right, pretty, pretty fast. And the final features I would like to show you just by using hand gesture. Doesn't matter if this is a message, if this is a, you know, like galleries, doesn't matter. You can hold and drag. Okay, remember that. You can hold and drag. And then let's just say, oh, in here, there's a few of them I want to delete. Just drag, drag, drag. Okay, so make sure you go like this and drag drag easy right oh you want to zoom in you want to see what this is sure drag drag right pretty simple right and then now you press delete super super easy so this is it this is the 10 features that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Please subscribe my channel, share this video, and I hope you learned something new today and quite easy, simple. Um, this is like maybe for intermediate or beginners, but I will go into a very, very uh, advanced inside this phone. What can you really do with this phone? And please subscribe and share to your friend and see you next time. Bye-bye, peace out.